Jessica fucked up, fucked up, and lost all this audio that we've been doing. So I'm an asshole. I work with an asshole. It's all good. So um, I have a white claw for me, for Tracy, and our special guest, Alan. Alan. Bad daddy who's never had one ever. Ready? Oh. Crack them. Crack. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, my God. I want to watch Alan's face. I'm going to. Oh, he's drinking it. He's sipping. He's sipping. Oh, he's pursing his lips. He's looking at it weird. Oh, he's crinkling his nose. Oh, no, he's Ooh. giggling. He said the fuck is Are your nipples shit? hard? Yeah. No. Uh <laughs> <laughs> White Claw doesn't turn you on. I uh, I've never been a big fan of sparkling water. Oh, but that's I will why. Say the this, mango. It, it yeah, you can actually taste this. This is better than like Lacroix, which is oh, a whisper what of a, a flavor. Fucking mess that a shit whisper is. of a flavor. Yeah, so we lost pretty much an entire episode and yeah. a call from so we're drinking Tan turn. Mom. Yeah. So we're an just epic call from an epic with, call with so much. Spilling so of the tea. tea. Can't believe we can't. I love that. Uh, like I love that I got to listen to that because I've <laughs> yeah, never I feel like actually you never heard her. It. Yeah. <laughs> it was so uh, being that close to royalty was amazing. It was amazing. So I'm, it's I'm like touching the queen. I'll, you know, I apologize. I'm in a sass mood right now. Yeah, we're not happy. But you know campers. what? I'm not gonna lie. The 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 liquor just soothed my soul. Is this alcoholic for real? Like, this yeah, there's like four percent. I, I don't oh, understand okay. how people even go out and they're like, um, can at the bar? Can it's I have a five percent, five percent, which means it's what two point five. I can't actual taste any alcohol. alcohol at all. So that uh, that is dangerous. Like, <laughs> I can see how someone could get fucked up without realizing. Jessica was plastered when we did Woes and White Claws. <laughs> plastered. I Classic. left. I left, and she's like. Are you gonna drive home? And I'm like, I'm fucking fine. Like I had like one white. She's like, I can't even stand. I'm like crawling on my floor. And I'm, I'm like crawling on my floor. I was like, what the fuck goes oh. on? All right, this is the third episode in a row, of White Claw. So like, <laughs> hit a hit a bitch up. Hit a bitch I mean, up. If we're, if we're not actually begging, this is us begging <laughs> for your sponsorship at right. this point because we have done numerous <laughs> shout outs for you hit a bitch up. but did you guys know that they're saying that they've like run out of them they're like yeah. they're they're out of they're so in demand that they couldn't produce them fast enough well, yeah they're also like 40 other companies that have now jumped on the bandwagon yeah, yeah, but yeah there's then a lot of it's like once yeah. you have a name they oh, people only want that name they don't want anybody else oh. they don't want your sh shop right brand <laughs> shop claw yeah <laughs> raw claw okay so Jessica's making a self. What are we speech. talking about today? Right, today, most importantly, because we're in fucking sassy moods, we're gonna change it up and we're gonna talk about mother in laws. Mother in laws, because what the fuck else do you talk about when you're in a sassy mood? Also, monster in laws. Monster also, in -laws. mother in laws. Mm -hmm. And you know, one thing I do want to say that there's a weird thing with moms, right? When you meet a guy, forget being married, even a boyfriend, no, right? When you first get introduced to the family. To the family, yeah. right? There's there's the dad. There's always the dad. Whatever. Yeah, he's, some dads care, some dads don't. Yeah, usually he's on the couch watching football, having a beer. This and is he's like, from hey. the girl's side. Yeah, from the girl's We're side. We're going to talk about from the guy's side because very That's different scenario. That's a whole scenario. other episode, yeah. yes. But the dad, they don't they don't bother with you. You know, they you might have a sibling you have to deal with, a brother or sister. You know, usually they're cool, they're not cool, whatever. It's never like a you deal breaker. stress. Beads of sweat, <laughs> thigh sweat. Over the mom. Over the mom. You bring her a gift, flowers, a bottle of wine, whatever mm -hmm. you could do to judge your way right in. What is it about the mothers of the son that they As feel... As a girl dating her son, yeah. you feel inferior instantly. It's how guys feel dating, meeting the father. Mm. You instantly feel like, I have to impress this man or he's going to convince her to break up with me. Right. Right. And you have, whether this is the nicest woman on earth or she's a fucking bitch, like, you, you go in there, like, guns blazing. You are ready to impress. Yeah, you have to. You have to. And I think also mothers and their sons have a very special bond, a very special yeah. thing, you know, and they feel overprotective, maybe a little entitled to their son's life. Yeah, me. I have a son, and no one's dating him because I'm dating him for the rest of his life. Oh, jeez. I'm a smother. You're a smother in law. Mm -hmm, okay. Sure. Uh, what, tell me about your experiences with your, because again, I think it could be even like a guy you've dated. Like you could be dating for six months. You get to know their family. They become your family. Yeah. And even if it's not, you're not married, you still deal with shit. Oh, you still deal with her, his mom. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I ever had a boyfriend whose mother didn't like me. I think one of my boyfriends, after we broke up, she went from like loving me to like, I fucking hate this girl. Really? Yeah, real quick. I uh, I 
can't obviously say who it was, but she like I I think like doesn't like me. I text her after being like, listen, this is this was something that just had to happen, blah blah blah. Like I, I'm so sorry. I really loved you and your family. And she was basically like, okay, fuck off. Yeah, she was like, that's wow, my baby boy. I've done and that you before. Just fucking destroyed him. I've done that with two boyfriends mm. where yeah, they in their mother e- like emails being like i'm really mm-hmm. sorry that this all you, went why down. do you feel like you have to apologize because they like, become like, if they take you in when when you have a good one right yeah that loves you that treats you with respect well you, you feel you horrible prob- about you probably it. have a superhero mom oh are you do you have your six I have, stages i have six stages to moms Would i want like to hear, hear it them? i do this is the category we're going to tell you how to deal with them obviously but this is how you figure out which one your mother-in-law is um, you have a superhero. This is superhero moms are supportive. They love you instantly. They're going to become your new best friend. They're your shopping partner. They're the ones that you could talk shit about their son and they laugh and mm-hmm. joke about it. Mm-hmm. Like I'll be like to my mother-in-law, oh my God, your son doesn't know how to fucking pack his own baseball bag. I, I still thought you were going to say your son doesn't know it. how to fuck. I was like, whoa. No, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and she'll be like, oh, that's because I did it his whole life. Like it's my fault. And yep. I'm like, yeah, it's your fucking fault. And we laugh about it. That's a that's one mother-in-law. That's a Joanne type. That's the superhero. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have the next best thing. That's the nice one. Uh, you have good conversation with her. You don't spend every moment with her, but um, she's there when you need her for something. You can call her and be like, hi, do you know if your son's around, blah, 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 and she'll give you, she'll help. That's awesome. The jabber. Oh, okay. Oh, Lord. She's nice to your face, and then behind your back, she takes jabs at you. Ooh. To everyone who will listen, <laughs> she low-key complains about your parenting or your wifing or your girlfriend abilities. But to your face, she's nice. That's mm-hmm. the jabber. Then you have the smother. This is the one that's jealous of your relationship because you are dating her son. Well, she's basically remind you all the time that he's a mama's boy. Oh, like, oh, yeah, that's just how he is. He's a mama's boy. You know, he loves his mom. Um, you can never do enough for him. You don't do his laundry right. She comes over and does his laundry. You don't cut his meat right. She'll still come and do that. She'll wipe his ass. You don't cut his it's, meat right. Yeah, no, this is the t- <laughs> this is a smother that, like, basically she expects you to step up and be her, but remind you that you'll never be her. Mm-hmm. That's the smother. Then we have the sabotager. Ooh. This is the passive aggressive mom who ruins the most important moments of your life. I have chills. This is the one who's going to um who's going to make something happen on the day that you give birth. Something good happens for her. This is the mom that's going to not be able to come to your shower because she has to get Botox that day. This is the mom who's um, going to ruin your engagement somehow. This is the mom that's going to literally try to destroy you, but like not in a in like an outward way, but like still like smiles. Mm-hmm. Then you have the monster in law. This is the overall cunt. She constantly <laughs> fights with you. You dread having holidays because you know you have to spend time with her. She embarrasses you in front of everybody. This is the one that you avoid, and this is the one that will ultimately ruin your actual relationship, your relationship. because there's no relationship mm-hmm. to be had when the mother is that when it gets aggressive. that toxic. Yeah. So those are the six different types. You choose which one yours is. <laughs> you can have a mixture. You could be like, oh, I've you know, I have a little bit of a superhero with a smother here and there. That's mine. <sighs> like my um, my mother in law is great. She, uh, but she's still like, yeah, that's my baby boy. He could yell at me, and two seconds later, I'll go buy him something. Like that's mm-hmm. just how that is. It's you know, um, a lot of moms are like that. That's like the probably the most popular combination. I would say I will probably be that combo. I'm great with her if I like her, and you don't fucking do something stupid. I'll be great to you. I'll be your best friend. But, like, always remind you that, like, you know, that's my son. If I have to do it, I will. <laughs> wow. That's, I'll be the, pro- I'll be the smother superhero. The <laughs> smother superhero. Yeah. Don't forget, guys, new clips air every Thursday. So see you next Thursday. Hosted on dimlywit.com. Even though we are not your best examples, uh, we're the best you've got. So cheers, bitches. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. And if you like this clip, share it with a friend. <laughs>